Chiara Camozzi. Um, I work for Copy, an Italian NGO, and uh, I'm an architect and I'm the project manager of the Uruma Slum Upgrading Project. This is the entire uh, Uruma uh, located on the, along the Juja Road in the northeastern surrounding of Nairobi. So uh, this is the first one, Cambi Moto, Mahira, Redeemed, Ghetto and Gitaturu. Mainly this project um, has been supporting the, the ongoing process started by Pamoja Trust, a local NGO, in uh, 1996 um, in the informal settlement of Uruma. Uh, the, the community has been organized by Pamoja Trust in saving schemes, so they save uh, daily and um, when they, they save the 20% of the amount of the cost of the house, uh, they get a loan uh, that they, they have to repay back in eight years. Nyumba yangu mbele 19, kutoka 1979 ilikuwa hapa. Ilikuwa ya, 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 ya mabati kutoka chini mpaka juu. Na sasa ikawa wakati tunataka kufanya slab upgrading dio nikaiondoa nika pamoja na hizi zingine hizi nyumba 45 tukaondoa mwezi wa saba mwaka uliopita 19 eh, 29 hapa nilikuwa naliza mbuzi na familia yangu lakini ilikuwa rumu moja tu peke yake uh, nyumba ikimalizika hiyo mbuzi sasa ni kuuza nitauza sababu sasa nyumba inakuwa mzuri eh, na sitaweza kuingiza mbuzi kwa nyumba ambaye ni, ni safi ya mawe my name is Joseph Mukeku. I'm the architect in charge of this project. So I'm involved in the design and supervision of the project. When we started off, I think we engaged the community in some discussions concerning what kind of houses they would wish to have. Uh, initially, it was just based on what the community you know, was sort of like aspiring to have. So then we went on with the discussions and we tried to qualify some of the issues that were raised by the community. So we tried to establish the number of people residing in the community, compared it with the land that was available. And uh, through that, we were able to come up with the basic size of housing unit that was possible to be implemented in this area. We've, we've done, not just in this particular settlement, we've also done uh, upgrading in another settlement called Kambimoto, another settlement called Kitaduru, and um, some other two settlements are also in the process of upgrading, although they've not done the physical construction of houses on the ground. Uh, we've got two sources of financing or funding for this project. The first, which is crucial in this supporting this process, comes from the communities themselves. Because at the beginning, the communities were formed into some saving groups. So like, for instance, if a housing unit is costing 200,000, then it means that uh, the community is supposed to produce 40,000 towards that housing unit. The other source of financing for this project is um, from donors that comes in to support this. But when the, that financing comes into the project, it's not like a grant. It's sort of like a loan to the community that they love to repay over time, but on soft terms. So it's not like a loan from the commercial banks out there in the market. Then uh, we've got a third component of uh, financing for this project, which comes in as support for the infrastructure part of this project, which is substantial. And uh, since the community cannot directly pay for infrastructure, owing to its high cost, we got one of the partners in the project, COPY, uh, which is an Italian NGO that gives in money towards supporting the infrastructure as a grant, not as a loan. So the community doesn't have to repay that back.
particular is uh, supporting one aspect of this project, that is the implementation of the infrastructures. Um, and um, we have been financed by the Italian Ministry of Foreign Affairs, who is the donor uh, of this project. na mapato juu mimi ni aidi sifanyangi kazi pengine ninapokipata pesa na natoanga per month 1 1 100 mm. kwa majina naitwa Samuel Mbudhia e, mimi ni mkaji hapa na zaidi ya hivyo nimekuwa nikisika katika uongozi wa umradi wa upgrading hapa ghetto mimi ni vice chairman kuna chairman ambayo kwa sasa hivi hayuko karibu so tumekuwa tukihusika kwa kuangalia kwamba huu mradi unaendelea vizuri. Tumeinua foundation ya nyumba mbili na tunakadiria kuanza nyumba zingine kama hamsini. In fact ile kitu tunafanya saa hizi ni kutayarisha watu waweze kuwatini ile percentage ya deposit ndio waweze kupatiwa loaning. Na tayari tuna watu wako tayari. Njoo kitu ya kwanza tutakuwa na ile security ya tenure, ile mambo ya eviction hiyo hofu imetukumba sana ni kitu imekuwa iki happen sana na kama vile unaweza understand hapa tumekaa tu temporarily kama squatters so hata ile mchanga tunakalia kitu ya kwanza hatuna security ya pili zile nyumba tunakaa kuna shida tunakumbana nazo kama moto kuna ni nyumba zina mpangilio so kutakuwa na improvement hata upande wa infrastructure services zitakuwa nzuri ya yeah, na zitakuwa ni houses modern ya yeah. uh, my name is Christopher Kaniru site manager for Kambi Moto uh, I've been working with Kopi since 207 at, at this site and even the other site that you have seen. Uh, so far we have uh, 86 completed houses. The ones which are being connected to the Siwa are 24 houses. The other ones, 64 are already connected and uh, the Siwa is working. So the ones that you're working on now, it's 24. I think the benefits that uh, it changes life, uh, the people can have the basic things that they need, that's all just sanitation and water. They are connected to the main sewers and uh, they provide water and it, it makes them even work under because when uh, they, they have like these houses, they have to work hard to pay them and they have to change their lifestyle. It makes people improve their life. Uh, these are our construction workshop. This is where we do the beams, ladders, and the other precast elements. This is a beam. It's a T-beam. It's where you, we use it to cast the floor. I'm Silas Mwangi. Uh, I'm a technical consultant with Pamoja Trust, uh, an organization that is working in partner with COPY and other organizations yeah. that are helping the, the slum dwellers with, in Nairobi to come up with, with to do slum upgrading. Okay, this is called Mahera, Mahera Self-Help Group. It's within Kia Michael Ward in Huruma, Sabrok, in a Huruma location. Uh, right now, I started with 13, the complete one on the, on, the, on the left side. And now I've already done another set of 50, 40, 45. So uh, it's a combination of now, it's a total of 58 houses have already been done. We are also looking forward to doing another 100 after the, because the community has already done the, the acquired the deposits, which is needed by the, facility, the, the credit facilitator, which is now called the AMT, Akiba Machinani Trust. And that Akiba Machinani Trust is a group, is an umbrella credit facility for the entire Mugano in Kenya. So all the slum dwellers, all the, the saving schemes within the slum dwellers are supposed to shipping retro to do daily savings. Retro money, 10 shillings, 20 shillings, and then they, they list the 20% of the cost of the intended house. So for example, the units that we are now constructing will cost us around 100,000, because they are not, we are building them incrementally in phases. 
these are now the radius, the slabs, which will be now be fixed to those beams. They are now undergoing curing. Then they will stay here for around two days, then they will be stuck, and then they will be cured for around 10 days. This now, this is Nyabura. She is also one of the savers, and she is one of the team that we have trained as a fabricator for the slabs. We do it, they do it pieces, as a piecework. So most of the time she can be able to do at least 10, 15, 20, and then we pay at least 100 shillings per, per piece. So if she is able to do 20, she can earn 2,000 shillings. Yeah, and she has been doing it. I've been living in a slum house, but now I'm living in a, 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 a stone house whereby I have my sitting, I have a bedroom, I have water, I have a kitchen, I have electricity. So I'm feeling very good because uh, it's because of upgrading. I'm telling them to come together and have a vision and uh, at least um, make that vision to come true and also to have oneness and to have love and to have transparent because all those things will make them to, to achieve their vision.